The story of the Russian military in the 21st century is a story of two perspectives. On the one hand, we can see it as a resurgent force seeking to upgrade its post-Cold War status and become a global power again. On the other is the image of an aging, monolithic body of troops still flying Soviet jets and bearing aging Kalashnikovs. Both ring true. According to an independent breakdown of the latest Kremlin stats, Russia's manpower exceeds 798,000. The army is its most sizable component, with the navy in second. Of these troops, those deployed overseas are largely concentrated in former Soviet states. There is also significant Russian military presence in disputed regions where Russia is effectively propping up a separatist insurgency. At least 3,200 Russian troops are stationed in Georgia, while there are 7,000 in Moldova's Transnistria. Moscow is officially backing separatists in both countries and are there without either nation's consent. Less clear is the extent of Russia's presence in eastern Ukraine. At the peak of the conflict in early 2015, Western allies estimated Russia had up to 12,000 troops in Ukraine's Donetsk and Lugansk regions. By Kiev's estimates, this number has reduced by a few thousand as fighting has faded into more sporadic skirmishes. According to the latest figures from the World Bank, Russia spent approximately 5.4% of its GDP on defense in 2016, higher than both the US and China. In 2010, Moscow announced a plan to upgrade its military equipment to the tune of $720 billion by 2020. But plummeting oil prices and sanctions imposed on Russia by the West have halted the plans. The military has had to cut purchases of new combat equipment significantly. Russia originally ordered 52 Pak FAT-50 stealth fighter jets, but due to problems with the plane and rising costs, it has cut this down to 12. The mainstay of the Air Force remains the Su-27 and the MiG-29 that first flew in the 1970s. In 2015, the government announced plans to have 2,300 state-of-the-art Armada T-14 battle tanks in service by 2020. A year later, they announced plans to refurbish over 3,000 of the T-80 tanks that were produced from 1976 to 1992. Russia has the most nuclear warheads in the world. It is believed to have around 7,300 nukes, compared to America's estimated 6,970 warheads. While the majority of these are from the Cold War era, the military is currently testing out its first new intercontinental ballistic missile in decades, the RS-28 Sarmat. Russia's state media claims the nuclear weapon will enter service in 2018 and will be able to carry 10 heavyweight warheads, enough power to wipe out Texas or France. But can Russia afford to continue to devote an increasing share of its GDP to the military forces? A weakened economy struggling out of recession makes spending to maintain and update its fighting force a challenge. But with Russia's direct involvement in the Syrian civil war since 2015 and increased tensions with the West, President Vladimir Putin is keen to project a powerful image of Russia's military might to the world.